this gum jabbar, this gum jabbar was with your daddy when he was shot down over Arrakis. He was captured, put in a Harkonnen prison camp. He knew if the Harkonnens ever saw the gum jabbar, it'd be confiscated, taken away. So he hid it in the one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years, he wore this gum jabbar up his ass. Hello, my sandy cinephiles. Welcome back to Move AI Crush, where the only thing drier than the humor is the landscape. This week, we're diving into Dune Part 2, a spice-fueled journey that's as deep as the sand is vast. After the visually stunning yet narratively sparse first installment, this sequel packs more punch than a sandworm's thumper. It's like a cinematic chai, bold, flavorful, and leaves you with a buzz that's not just from the Zimmer score. Timothy Chalamet reprises his role as Paul Atreides, the brooding space prince with more daddy issues than Willy Wonka. And let's not forget Zendaya, who's back as Chani, finally giving us more screen time than a Marvel post credit scene cameo. But the real scene stealer is Austin Butler as Fade Rauther. After shaking his hips as Elvis, he's now shaking up Arrakis with his villainous vibes. It's like High School Musical took a detour through Blade Runner 2049 and ended up in a sci-fi gladiator arena. And let's talk about those sandworms. They're bigger, badder, and more majestic than ever. Riding one of these bad boys is the ultimate Arrakis bucket list item, right after survive a Harkonnen family reunion and find a decent moisturizer. Denis Villeneuve's direction is as masterful as ever, blending epic visuals with a story that's as layered as a still suit. The visual spectacle is breathtaking. However, the film's pacing stumbles in the final act, rushing through crucial moments like a Sicario agent on a mission. In the end, Dune Part 2 is like a galactic roller coaster ride through the sands of time. It's a visual feast with a side of existential dread, and it sets the stage for what could be an epic sci fi saga. Or, as Paul might say, it's not a prophecy, it's a promise. Well, that's it. Please thump that like button and subscribe for more. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet in the sand.